Welcome to Powered by Podio. Automation is everything. Supercharge your business with Podio. Get ready for another episode of Supercharged with Jordan Samuel Fleming. Your weekly dive into the awesome impact workflow and automation can have on your business when it's powered by Podio. Join us each week as we learn from the top Podio partners in the world, as we investigate system integrations and add-ons, and hear from real business owners who have implemented Podio into their business. Now, join your host, Jordan Samuel Fleming, CEO of Game Changers, for this week's episode. Hey, everybody. Welcome to this week's episode of Supercharged. I'm your host, Jordan Samuel Fleming, here to talk all about the power of workflow and automation when your business is powered by Podio. Now, this is a great episode, uh, one that I'm excited about because we dive into why Podio makes such a great and powerful real estate CRM. Um, for those of you who are in that space, Podio has really been a powerhouse for many years for real estate and I'm joined in this uh, really special group episode by Damien uh, who has the RAI Solutions Company and has a, a system, a Podio uh, real estate CRM called Deal Pro and I'm joined by Alexander Parge who is also my business partner in Smartphone but he uh, has RAI Volution which is another amazing Podio based uh, real estate CRM and of course myself um, I, my company, Game Changers, has a sign force, which is a Podio-based real estate CRM. Well, why is Podio so good for real estate? This is what this episode's all about. Um, we don't get too nuts and bolts into you know, our respective systems, but we talk a bit about you know, the power of Podio in real estate. Why is it so good? Why is the flexibility and price such a great sweet spot? Um, we do talk about some common threads that we have found uh, amongst the different real estate uh, business models and how Podio and our systems have addressed them, some of the key challenges that uh, we're able to address within Podio, some of the key features of the systems that really make these CRM systems fly. Um, and it's just a great opportunity to kind of step back a little and talk about Podio and the real estate uh, community and why it's still such a phenomenal tool. I mean, there's lots of tools out there, there's lots of systems out there, but Podio and real estate still has a very, very, very strong connection because you simply can't beat the customization, the workflow automation and the price. And that's all there is to it. And um, I was really grateful to both Damien and Alex for joining me in this so we could you know, geek out a bit, talk a bit about the ecosystem and, and why, you know, we see our clients um, get success in their businesses because of the power that Podio can bring to them. So if you're in real estate, this is a great opportunity for you to listen to three people who own their own Podio based CRMs for real estate and talking a bit about the challenges, the opportunities and the amazing things that these different systems can bring you as a real estate investor. Let's dive right in right now with myself, Alex, and Damien. So uh, I will crack on. I am joined today um, by two of my favorite people in the Podio real estate ecosystem. Uh, we've got Alex uh, from REI Evolution. He's also my partner in uh, Smartphone. And Damien from REI Solutions, uh, also a Smartphone partner as well. Um, Alex, why don't you just kick off, give a very brief introduction so people know who you are. So hi everyone. Um, uh, I represent SwiftPod, uh, a, a Romanian software company. Uh, we have uh, along the way we have built several solutions, extensions for Podio users because um, we fell in love with Podio around 2015. Uh, and along the way we have built uh, the smartphone. We have built a dashboard platform, an email integration, and an out of the box. Um, real estate CRM uh, focused for for investors. Absolutely. And Damien, uh, you're you're both returning champions. So Damien, <laughs> remind people who you are and your product, please. Yeah. Uh, thanks, Jordan. So um, my name is Damien. I'm the uh, owner and founder of REI Solutions. And we, we offer a product called DealPro, uh, which is uh, just an out-of-the-box, all-inclusive wholesaling um, 
real estate package that's based in Podio. Um, and uh, we try to expand on that, you know, every month we're trying to come out with something new for it or updates for it. So it's always changing, but uh, you know, it's uh, something that we love doing with Podio and it's just so easy to expand upon. And we use, you know, a uh, smartphone a lot. We've got a lot of people switching over smartphone from call rail. So it's definitely a great system to use. Absolutely. Well, we're going to, uh, and me, as everyone should know by now, since it's my podcast, um, <laughs> not only obviously am I a co-founder of smartphone, but my company, uh, we are game changers of which I'm no longer CEO as of last week. Um, oh, really? uh, yeah. Andrew Cranston has taken over uh, as CEO instead of CTO. He's now CEO. Uh, but I am still sort of chairman in that sense. And um, we not only do a tremendous amount of custom podio development for real estate, but we also have a, a wholesale sales system called the sign force um, that we implement for clients as well. And why I wanted the three of us to get on a podcast today is really to talk. A lot of times I get real estate investors on, they talk about, you know, how they use things um, and, they, and they talk about, you know, their, their background and how they get into it and how, what they do in Podio. I really wanted to, to focus on the, the, the reasons why Podio makes such a good and compelling platform for real estate uh, CRMs. Because, and the three of us are on because, of course, not only do we know Podio like the back of our hands, but we've got these systems. Now, um, like for me, Podio still is um, just a phenomenal system for um, real estate uh, wholesaling, for, um, you know, property management, for um, rehabbing, all those sorts of things. And to me, it comes down to the flexibility that you can bring into it and that ability to customize it. But I really want to hear from, um, from you two. So could I ask both of you to maybe talk a bit about sort of what are the key things that you feel Podio brings to the real estate CRM market? And maybe a couple things that your systems do that you really think, you know, help your, you know, help your clients out. Damien, let me start with you. Yeah. Uh, so overall, Podio, I, I think, is a phenomenal platform as a base for any, any CRM, um, you know, whether it be real estate or hotel management, you know. But uh, in this case, for what we're doing with real estate and specifically wholesaling, uh, it's great because everybody... Uh, has different ways that they get leads and they prospect for leads. And, and, you know, with a traditional CRM, you can't really integrate a lot of those things or do the follow-ons after you get a lead from those sources because either, uh, you know, the lead source isn't talking to the CRM or the CRM is not talking to the lead source. But with Podio, um, we have the ability to a lot of times do two-way traffic between those things or at least get the data from the source into Podio relatively easily. Um you know, the, the back end of Podio uses workflow automations, formerly known as Globiflow. Uh, and with that, we're able to do a lot of custom coding and uh, things to make, make the system do what the user wants it to do. Whereas an out of the box, uh, you know, off brand was only going to do what that system is designed to do, which could be great. But, you know, everybody runs their business differently and everybody wants something different. And, and I experience that every day, even with just our deal pro system, like out of the box, it's phenomenal. Um, but we have yet to have a subscriber just use it as it comes. Like everybody wants a little something different, whether it's even, even some small, like changing the name of a field to something else, or they want to have a couple of different functionalities added. Everybody wants something different. And we're able to do that with Podio because it's easy to, you know, configure to what they want to do for the most part. Absolutely. Alex? Yeah, for sure. Uh, I agree 100% with what Damien said. Um, and if there is anything to, to be added to that is that uh, you mentioned, uh, like, you know, uh, Podio was created as a project management platform and uh, we, the partners, had gave it uh, CRM functionalities. Um, and uh, it's great. It's great because you can have that as an out-of-the-box solution with our systems. And uh, one thing that uh, I'm really proud of is that um, in our revolution, it's only the system, you have the fields configured and the functionalities, but on top of that, you have also the dashboards because uh, we can pull out, uh, a user can pull out reports uh, that can help them um, improve 
their activity and uh, really see uh, to analyze the performance of uh, their team of their marketing uh, of the operational uh, teams everybody in the team can work in only one place i think that's a good point and actually i i'd, I'd expand on that in in that another compelling thing i think of what makes podio a great sort of fundamental for the real estate CRM that, that we've all built is simply the strength of its API and the fact that you can get the all the data you want out in almost any like in almost any way if that makes sense. You know, I mean there's 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 so much restrictions to um to other systems where it's like yeah you can get some of the data out or you can get some of the data out in some of the ways. Um, but you can't have this, you can't have that. And and I think one of the things that makes Podio such a good foundation for, for the real estate uh, CRM element is just the fact that every bit of data you can get out and you can then spin around and do whatever you want, whether that is using dashboards like Alex was talking about, where where you can get the data out and dashboard it and visualize it, which I'm sure we all do as well, you know, we are in different ways. Or whether it is, you know, providing, um, you know, uh, externalizing data for outside people. Like we've certainly for Assign Force, we built a cash buyer portal that sits on top of it, where you can just simply click on one of your buyers and say, you know, add to portal. They get an email giving them, you know, telling them to log in when set their password, and then they get to log in and see a map of all the properties you've got available for you, click on it, get the details, submit an offer straight into Podio. Um, you can go back and forth between the portal and Podio and they get an amazing user interface and you get all the data. And I think there aren't many, you know, it, it, the reason that works so well is because the data in Podio is just so easy to manipulate. You know what I mean? Um, and I think that's important. Yep. Yeah, definitely, definitely agree with that. The API has has proven uh, invaluable for some of the, you know, the, just as some of the things that um, we're doing in our system as well. It's like there would be no other way to to make some of these things happen uh, if you know with any other platform because you, you have to be able to manipulate the data. Uh, and while workflow automations is great, um, you know, it does have some limitations as far as what it can do with PHP functions. So, so the API kind of bridges that gap and allows you to take it to your own uh, server and, and use, you know, actual scripting um, and even doing stuff with uh, ProcFu and other great extensions that we like to use allows some more versatility uh, in the applications. Absolutely. Um, now going, I mean, given that we all got, you know, we've all got um, kind of wholesale CRMs. Wholesaling is, has been our focus for, I would say, 95% of our real estate customers. We've got some who do other bits and rehabbing and all of those, but wholesaling for us has always been by far the biggest uh, business model that we've dealt with in the real estate industry. Um, and I think there's, there's a pretty well-defined track record of Podio in wholesaling. In terms of your own systems, and I'll, I'll also talk about ours a, a little as well afterwards, but um, what are some of the kind of what, what do you see as some of the core challenges or, um, that wholesaling wholesalers have and how your systems kind of uh, address them? Because I think we probably are similar, but we'll all have cool little bits. So, right. uh, Alex, what, what do you think? You want to start off? Yeah, so um, I would talk about the contract generation and uh, handling the contracts because uh, everybody likes to, to make uh, big numbers to, to close uh, more deals, more deals. Uh, but every new deal will bring uh, some operational bits on the, on the process. Uh, with our system, um, the agent that is uh, talking with uh, the person that is selling the house has the ability of uh, just filling in um, predefined uh, variables to, to use the system and to actually uh, send it via email or send it via right signature or docu sign to the seller to, to be signed. Uh, once it is signed, uh, the signed contract gets back to Podio, everybody has access to it, and the file is moved over to the operations. 
Uh, for us, we don't uh, use it only for wholesale because we have a purchase type and maybe someone, they will uh, purchase a property to wholesale, but maybe they would like to keep it as a rent. Uh, maybe they would like to wholesale, maybe they would like to make an ovation, uh, a short sale, I don't know. Uh, they can simply configure that uh, when they buy the product or afterwards. Uh, and depending on the type of the property, the type of uh, how they buy it, uh, they can have uh, different standard operating procedures with different sets of tasks that are assigned automatically to the operation team and to, to the people that are responsible. So everybody uh, knows exactly what they have to do. Uh, and you can even measure the number of days it takes you to purchase a property, for instance, because always when you are going to short sale, to buy a short sale property, it will take longer than a wholesale or a property that doesn't have issues in the titles or something. Absolutely. That, and, and I like, uh, so, and that's another powerful bit of, of basing it in Podio is that flexibility of having those different um, standard operating procedures, uh, you know, customizable by the cust customers, where so many other systems, they'll sort of, you know, here's how you set up the one thing. And you can't really differentiate and not many people fit into those little boxes easily. And it's the boxes that start to make you chafe. And it's the boxes that start to make you feel like the system's not working for you. It's working against you. And I think that's a good illustration, Alex. Damien, what do you think? Yeah, I, I, Alex, I agree with that like 100%. And uh, in, in our own system, we use uh, DocuSign. We, we have gotten away from right signature just because it's not as great of an interface Um it, you know, not not something that we we want to continue to deal with, but you know that's a whole another whole another thing. But uh, another podcast. <laughs> that's another podcast. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's the troubles of rights are true. But uh, so we we do uh, use DocuSign, and um, you know we do that with the uh, API, and so it offers a lot more flexibility in the contracts because we're able to generate. Um, you know, if the user comes in and they've got five different contracts, it doesn't matter. We can imp implement all of them very easily and they're able to, you know, edit them right there in Podio. You know, a lot of times one of the big issues was sending a contract and the seller says, well, I want more earnest money or I don't like these terms that you put in there. So then with right signatures, you have to go back and generate a whole new contract. Whereas with DocuSign and our integration, you just edit it right there and it, it's edited live for the person. So that part is, is cool. But I think uh, one of the big struggles that I've seen for uh, investors uh, as a whole, not just wholesalers, but is follow up. Um, and, and that's where all the deals happen is in the follow up because, you know, chances of you getting it right out of the gate, you know, calling the seller the first time, pretty slim. Uh, everybody in the game knows that. But um, we kind of try to help them stay on top of those follow ups with our automated uh, drip campaigns that can go f anywhere from one day to a year and a half. You know, it doesn't, there's no length of time. There's no really uh, hard stop. It's just, there's no hard stop. Yeah. Right. It can just keep going, uh, which is, which is fantastic, you know, for things like the probate leads, uh, you know, or, or short sale leads where it's like, it's going to be a while before that thing turns into something. Um, so, the users are able to make their own custom templates. They can set up as many as they want. There's really no limitation there. Uh, and then, you know, it's just a click of a button, start, and then it, they'll get the emails, texts, RVMs. Uh, we also have it assigned tasks to the user. Uh, you know, like, hey, it's been about three weeks. You should probably call this guy back. Whatever task it is that you want to assign to the lead manager. So that's, that's how we try to help them stay in front of the leads and, and manage that part. I'll go the. Uh, we, have go someone, ahead. we have someone that has three years of drips configured in our. Yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> three years. That's a long. That's a long campaign. <laughs> I I'll, I'm going to go the other end of the of the cycle, and I'm going to say that you know one of the other things that we've noticed is that um, you know we got we got we saw a lot of people just blasting to buyers, um, without really thinking about it and I, and my with my marketing hat on my marketing background i never like spray and pray i like target so i you know anytime you just take an uzi and try and hit everybody you, the chances are you're not going to you know you're going to have a lot of collateral or a lot of waste and so one of the things that um that we do in our system that the podio lends itself to because you can set it up differently is we we have a, a we have a very effective 
uh, by our matching tool it, that where, you know, you, you, for every lead that you're working and every property you're dealing with, you can set up um, using relationship fields. You can set up like these are the, the, the different criteria this property meets. It's a single family home and it's, you know, here's the price range and it's in, you know, with these amenities or, or these local bits. And for the buyer profiles we've got in Podio, you can set, well, what type of homes do you like and what areas do you like and what else? And then simply when you're looking at who are my best buyers, you click match me some buyers and it goes through all the buyer lists you have and gives you your short list of the people who hit the best criterias. And where, where you can then market to them and that it's a small thing, but again, trying to build a system which will let them be more targeted in their approach, not just from a follow up point of view, but also on a selling point of view. And, and, you know, Podio gives them that gives the ability to customize that process in an almost unlimited amount of way. Stop. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm just gonna interrupt this amazing podcast for a couple of seconds. I know if you are a regular listener, you have heard me talk about the Game Changers Supercharged Masterclass series, and I've already had a number of people give their details in with the forum and contact me saying, when can we get involved? Well, life has happened, moving house, lots of things going on, and although I promised to get up the first modules, in June, it is going to be the end of July now, July 2021, but I am super excited about it. This absolutely free masterclass series is going to go through a bunch of great modules. Uh, the fundamentals of Podio, the fundamentals of great Podio design, great ways of using Globi Flow and extending Podio. It is distillation of years and years of my team, myself included, of designing Podio. It's our attempt at bringing together some best-in-class principles of Podio design. It's a re really an exciting proposition. I can't wait to launch it. It is coming soon. Go over to www.wearegamechangers.com. Go to the masterclass. Send in your details. We'll let you know as soon as the first modules are up. I guarantee the first modules are going up end of July 2021. Now, back to this awesome podcast. And I think that's a really cool, you know, that's a, that's a, it's a really cool example of why that Podio ecosystem has helped out for that. Um, now, I do, I would be remiss given that we're all, the three of us are here. Uh, communications is obviously another massive one. And of course, I got my smartphone hat on right now, <laughs> uh, which never comes off. Yeah. Um, but, uh, you know, communication is a massive one. And um, to me, um, I would say that one of the things that smartphone has really done, and this is me with my game changers hat on, not so much my smartphone hat on, but is where we've integrated call rail in the past, for instance, mm. it's not that it's bad. It's not, and that's not, certainly it's not that call rail is a bad platform. I no problem with call rail. It's a good platform, but it, it was never very, because you're essentially dropping calls into an app and then, you know, your you the the ability to have duplication the ability to have problems of connection was was always a was always pretty high and i've found certainly as we over the last couple of years have only integrated smartphone to our real estate customers we've been finding that the whole communication integration between dialing texting sales dialing transact all of that has massively smoothed out in a big way and I think that's a huge part of the real estate infrastructure that works really well for Podio and particularly Podio with smartphone. I, I agree with that because, you know, we still do call rail, um, not nearly as much now. Uh, we do push uh, smartphone um, be, just because it's so much easier. I mean, we use it ourselves too. It's, it's just um, for, for our overseas friends, you know, it's like they could just click it. Whereas with, with call rail, even though, yes, you can use, make a push to call button and call from Podio, um, it's still got to call somebody's cell phone, then they got to press one and then they got to connect. So like if for our wholesalers that are using their VAs in the Philippines and stuff, uh, that doesn't work because there's no way, there's no push to call. I mean, occasionally you can connect to a Google voice, but the, the chances of it working 100% of the time versus smartphone where they can just download the extension and then they click to call. Now they're calling. Um, I, I agree with that. It's just, uh, we are, we are trying to do more smartphone only uh, versus the call rail setup. 
for sure, for sure. And uh, adding on that, um, we see Podio as a communication hub because we not only have the smartphone, we also have the email bit. So basically, we have closed the loop with uh, all the communications with uh, and voicemails, of course, everything. Uh, but uh, we also try to educate our customers to uh, tell their to put their agents to follow up uh, using the dialer because most of the people when they are using a the dialer, they are they are seeing the dialer uh, valuable only for cold calling, but uh, it's very simple with the last, latest updates from, from smartphone and smart dialer to simply choose a, a podio view when you are configuring a smart dialer campaign. And that could be uh, today's follow up list. And an agent could uh, very easily, by not having to click, 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 click in the system, to follow up with a larger number of leads in, in uh, faster. And if they reply, they have the, re, uh, the reply in podio on the, on the lead card, then they can. I don't know, text back or uh, do something else. Right. It's, all, it's also much easier, I find, to create different buckets. Um, you, uh, we, we used to, um, before the, the, the latest version of Smart Dialer, which will be going through another iteration fairly, fairly soon. Here's a hot <laughs> tip. But um, we, you know, one of the challenges we always had was moving from unqualified to qualified in a seamless way and now with because you can just set up campaigns with views it's very easy to have the unqualified list campaigns going to the vas them rattling through just tons of them and then when they click qualified it drops into a view that is you know for your interior agents or your your better salespeople or your inside salespeople or whoever and they have a a very easy bucket that they can open up and go right well bam let's start and it's very seamless and they don't have to think about it and it moves just automatically because of it and i think that's a really important way of managing because i think for me cold leads and unqualified leads are the bane of every crm i've ever come into contact with because so many times you get involved and you see people and they've got nine thousand leads in their system and you're like, really? Well, do you yeah. really? Or do you have <laughs> 70? You know, yeah. like, like, you know, you got 9,000 leads of bullshit and duplicates and, and cold. And I think um, Podio gives you a really great op- ability to segment data and segregate it really far away. And then using workflow automation and the API or Globiflow or whatever to push it back into the hot status where, where needed how do you guys manage cold data in podio in your systems just out of curiosity Alex you, or, yep. you can start baby. yeah so for us like with cold data um we try to we do a little bit different i think than most like we try to avoid dumping you know sheets and sheets and sheets of data into podio because like you said you run you run into where you got oh you get twenty thousand leads like oh cool you probably got like five people on that list right that are actual leads so um as we've integrated a lot with uh smart dialer now and we use um you know the list the list app so to speak where people upload that but we do screen that when they upload it uh, for, you know, Hey, this thing's already in here, man. It's actually in here seven times. You should probably, you know, should probably get a better list, but, um, you know, we'll flag those things for them. But, uh, as the data goes through, like you're saying, we have the buckets, you know, uh, especially if they're using smart dialer, we try to make different categories that work for them, hot lead qualified, you know, cold follow-up, warm follow-up. And then, and then it's just an automatic podio view, uh, and their VAs are just an easy button. They just click it. And then, so now that that's moved now from cold follow-up to now it's in the hot lead. So the hot lead only goes to the acquisitions manager. So now that, instead of the acquisitions manager going through 20,000 records, he's got 17 hot leads. So he can just click on that view. It's going to run through those, whoever he connects to, that way he can get the deal going. Uh, and that to, to me, that's the better way to do it versus just, having this massive list that everybody's trying to dial or, or, you know, one click call. I mean, that just takes forever. Um, so that, that's how we use it to, to better help uh, sort the cold data. Um, 
we have built our system to uh, not for call calling but for people that express the intent to discuss so every every item from the system either it's a seller lead or a buyer lead we have different tabs uh, there are a separate item there and uh, those would be considered leads that already opted in to, to be in a CRM. And that's why uh, the qualification process is very important and we, all, we also uh, give it as a, a standard with uh, qualified uh, hot, warm and cold. And we, uh, there is also a KPI, how many leads are qualified each day because not only lead creation, um, it's important. In regards to the cold calling, uh, we always suggest to we suggest to our clients to have a brand new workspace only for that. Uh, and as Jordan said, once the agent uh, gets a hold on one of those leads uh, through an uh, how do you call it outbound stage or outbound uh, status uh, option that you have at the, uh, when you finish a call, uh, that will transfer. Um, the cold lead to the actual lead push it into the real system right. thing, uh, works and will go further uh, for a further qualification appointment uh, and uh, and the contract that Absolutely. makes sense Absolutely. That, that's, I, I, I mean, if you're going to be doing cold, le- cold lists, you've got to keep it segregated and then you've got to use automation to push it in when it actually needs to be um and there's some exciting things that are just about to start happening in smartphone damien that'll that'll help that'll influence this process even more so we'll put you on the beta list for that awesome Uh, (laughs) on the beta list for that without question um and then you know one other thing i i wanted to to ask um you know with your guys systems and your guys client base um have has there been a lot of discussion are people up and and understanding the new changes that are happening in the U.S. around texting and and um, and you know and calling and, and how that'll influence. Do people understand that? Do they do they know there's thing changes coming? Because we we can use this opportunity in the podcast to let people know a synopsis of it. Yeah, so I don't think uh, everybody really has a full grasp, uh, especially with the most recent changes. I know you guys are still, I don't know if you've already implemented everything, but, um, you know, I still get people asking, hey, can we can we make a, a, a blast texting with smartphone? I'm like, no, we're not going to do that. Um, you know, it's one, it's in their terms and conditions. But, you know, two, like you just got to you got to stay up to date with with uh, the laws, especially here in the U.S., like the, it just seems like every every week they're coming out with someone someone new got offended. So now we have to not offend these people anymore. And so it's just getting very limited in what you can do. Even cold calling, uh, I think, is getting more restricted as well. Florida's just released new robocall um, laws. So if you're using a, any sort of automated tool to dial. Um, they, you have to have a demonstrated existing business relationship, um, uh, or it can be run afoul to that. So there are all sorts of interesting things there. I mean, just to, just to summarize for people who may be listening to this and, and do use text messaging a lot, um, the, there is a big change happening in the U S uh, it's called a 2 P 10 DLC. And it's basically, um, the carrier, the, 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 the short version is the carriers assumed text messaging was Damien texting me, hey, you want to go for beer? Like that's what they see as texting. But of course, businesses started to use texting and the carriers weren't making enough money on it. <laughs> and, and so this new change is not FCC regulation. It's carrier based kind of um, changes. And it's actually a very good change because what's happening, and this is literally, the, right now we're recording this and it's the 13th of July. This still isn't finished. The carriers are still making changes to the structure right now um, and, and they're still not finished tweaking it. We anticipate it being rolled out across everybody by sort of September because they keep pushing the dates back. They said March, then April, then May, then June, you know, and, and at this point, the carriers in Twilio are saying, just hold off for a bit while we figure it out. But the core of it is, um, and this affects both calling in terms of spam, if your numbers are being marked as spam, 
and texting. And it basically comes down to you being able to register, which if you're a smartphone customer, you'll be able to do it via the platform. Register, this is me. This is my business. These are my authorized people. These are the phone numbers we use so that the carriers can go, oh, oh, this is a real person. This is a real business with a legitimate use of why they're texting. Um, and, and it is a massive change, but it's actually a really good one because it's designed to stop the bad actors who are just slamming people with, with, with spam and, 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 and kind of screwing it up for the rest of us. Um, and that's something that is happening right now. It's nothing anybody has to worry about right now in some ways because the carriers haven't finished it. But when it all comes in the wash, it, it's going to mean that you're more likely to have your numbers verified and that you're going to show up as a verified person and the carriers are going to know you're verified. So they're going to, the deliverability will improve and your spam score will be down. If the carriers can basically say, we know who this is and we know the number, they're going to give you a number one and that's going to go through that hitch. So now, is, is that, uh, sorry, is that, is that going to identify? So I know a lot of the concern, I think, for for people doing the mass texting, right, is, is, uh, is hitting those litigators. And so now with this, with this in, in, uh, change, is that going to identify like, hey, this is, this is Bob buys houses, you know, is that what's going to come up on the caller ID now for these people? Well, it's not necessarily, you're not necessarily coming up with the caller ID. Um, that's a slightly different process, but yeah. the truth is you're still going to want to do that. Well, first of all, you're still going to want to abide by, yeah. you still have to abide <laughs> by the TCPA regulations Correct. about texting. So that's in, in, like uh, consent rules, uh, DNC lists and all that. Quite honestly, if you're buying lists, you're still going to want to scrub them for known litigators and all that yeah. um, in order to avoid that. You're absolutely going to want to do that. And you're going to be able to scrub them for DNC and known litigator in smartphone very soon. Um, in, inside a smartphone. Um, but what this is going to do is for those, it's, it's going to be, it's going to let the carriers know that this is legitimate. This is a legitimate business making a call so that the, on the other end, I'm going to see your number pop up and not spam likely if you're calling yeah. me. Or it's going to mean that your text message is going to go through immediately quickly and, and get delivered as opposed to being held back or charged more. Yeah, and, and that that topic uh, brings me to my previous answer in regards to the cold calling and the reason that I'm uh, suggesting for them to have a different workspace and sometimes even a different smartphone account. And uh, why I do that? Because um, outbound calling or outbound texting, it's uh, there are two different marketing channels compared to inbound marketing uh, like direct mail. Uh, and if you, let's say, as a company, you have 50 numbers on direct mail and you are doing outbound uh, calling from the same uh, account with two numbers and uh, you get your entire account suspended uh, as a spam, then you lose all, all the efforts and all the money that you have invested in the direct mail uh, pieces that are out there. And also for uh, ringless voicemails, we tell them to use a dedicated service uh, that does only that. Uh, with our system, if they follow up with the leads, uh, at least they have uh, the opt-in confirmation when the lead was created in Podio and what created that lead. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. The ringless voicemail is one that I've always shied away from, I must admit. <laughs> I, I, I think it is towing the line of TCPA rules in a big fucking way. <laughs> and yeah. And, and I just, I've never, I've, I've always pushed back from integrating that. I know some of our customers have wanted it and we pushed back whenever we can to do it. I, I just, it scares the shit out of me from a TCPA point of view. One quick question, guys. Um, are your users still doing direct mail? Our, a lot of mine are, are still doing direct mail, um, you know, and, I, I, I still think that I'm, I'm a direct mail fan myself. So I, I personally like direct mail. Um, but, you know, as, as the, you know, environments change here, especially in the U S I think that a lot of people are going to go back to direct mail um, as the, you know, the texting and cold calling gets a little bit harder. Um, 
to do, especially in some of the more saturated markets. Some of our clients, they even go door knocking at their business. Yes. If someone calls in at the company, yeah. they will go there at the door. Hello, do you have a house to sell? Yeah, that's... that's uh, we, we, get a that a, <laughs> we get that a lot for our solar panel companies. Our solar companies do a tremendous amount of door knocking because they, yeah. if they're there meeting one, they'll go to the five here and the five next to it yeah. and they'll slip through postcards, et cetera. But I'd say a lot of our customers have actually, I would say, have increased have have increasingly done more postcard work and mailing work um, with tracking numbers. Be you know just because I think um, if you get a good postcard in a good area, um, the you know the relative cost and concern versus I think one of the problems is buying good lists. Yeah, ain't easy. I've right. seen so many people buy shit lists and, and, and certainly, I mean, our system, I'm, I've no doubt your systems, you know, the whole point of sometimes the, the, of your KPI tracking that you build into these systems is to let them see and say, well, okay, we bought 50,000 leads. We converted four. Yeah. Like, you know, the, Good list. A, like, you know, this, this, <laughs> whereas actually this type of lead is working really well. This lead source is working really well. Let's double down on that for a while. Um, I've seen, you know, the, I've seen it work pretty well. That, that's why I tell the customers that not only the cost per lead is important. When you analyze a marketing effort, you, you need to see that cost compared with the profit generated with the return of investment, because uh, not once, uh, let's say uh, a higher price they pay for a lead, they receive less leads, but more, more quality ones. And the actual result is better than a traditional way of getting leads very cheap. And um, also one client was saying that uh, they are now considering to send even better postcards, more, more expensive, because it's important for them uh, to stand up. That postcard, it's important to stand up from the other direct mail pieces that uh, right. everybody receives in the, in the States nowadays. Yep. Um, I just just to round off this conversation because we're coming to the end of our, our time together. Um, I I just want to make sure I under, you know that we've talked a bit about the power of uh, why Podio makes a, a real estate uh, a good platform for real estate CRM. Um, and and one of the thing we touched on the most was its customizable element, the fact that you can customize it. Um, we've got the three of us here. We each have our own what we would class as off the shelf system but all three of our systems can be completely customized to the customer's wants um and that i think right away that is right there and then the reason you know why you know if you are in real estate if you are a wholesaler looking at one of the podio crms you've got three examples on this podcast today but you will be able to customize better quicker and cheaper compared to like a Salesforce customization, right? Where right. when you're, when you're customizing Salesforce, yes, you can, but, or you're customizing another platform. It's a lot bigger of a deal where it was with Podio, we can customize quite a bit. And for each of these systems, if you want to go take a look at them, you will, I'll put the links to them in the uh, podcast um, uh, web page, as well as the description, take a look at them and know that not only are these, out of the box, best practice CRMs based on experience of doing it over and over again, over and seeing what works, but each of them can be configured and customized to how you work. And exactly. I think that's the key right there, right? Like that is, yep. that is the fundamental of why Podio kicks ass as a core CRM. Um, but also why going into an environment like um, either the RI solutions one or the IRI evolution or a sign force, or quite honestly, some of the other people who, who have CRMs out there in Podio, you're going to go into an ecosystem, but a, you're going to be able to make it fit you. Exactly. And that is something that no other system out there can do, in my opinion. Right. Mm -hmm. I agree with that because, I mean, that's that's it uh, 100% because I'm sure you guys have both experienced that. Like, our, you know, each of our systems is fantastic. Um, out of the box, it's great. Uh to use and and can you can work a deal all the way through right out of the box but you know bob buys houses might do something different than harry buys houses so they want you know different different things in their system so all three of us are able to provide that to the 
to the end user, which I think is fantastic. And when you th uh, also talk about the, cost the ability to customize it, uh, it's a never ending market that yes. always changes and the speed <laughs> is very high now of changes and Podio is, is good to have in these yep. times. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, listen, guys, I want to thank you guys for giving us your time today. Uh, I think I think it's a good chance and a good opportunity to sort of set a baseline of why Podio is so good for real estate um, CRMs and, and to have the two of you join me where you have very successful Podio CRMs already. Um, it gives uh, everybody a chance to look at them. I will post the links and any uh, sign up codes that you guys give me onto the podcast. If you listen to this, please do check them all out. The three systems, they're all fantastic. They all work fantastically and they all provide great support. So um, I really do encourage it. And of course, you've got links to smart sign up for smartphone and check that out as well. Because if you're using Podio, you got to use smartphone. Um, <laughs> exactly. Right? That's, that's, that's just, that's the fucking law. <laughs> so, <laughs> so uh, thank you guys so much. Uh, please do like, share, give us a review. Um, take a look at both Alex and Damien's site and my own, as well as smartphone and have a great week. Thanks, Jordan. Thanks. You've been listening to Supercharged with Jordan Samuel Fleming. Subscribe today on iTunes, Google Play, or Spotify for your weekly dive into how you can supercharge your business by making it powered by Podio. Be sure to check out our website, wearegamechangers.com, where you can learn more and arrange a 30-minute call with Jordan to help you understand how Podio supercharges you. 